Hey guys! Hi. Welcome back to our channel. It's Ooh. been been gone for like three months. A long time. Yeah. And we are just back right now with the update video. We would want to show you all the animals and how everything's doing. Some things changed. We want to show you guys that. Because obviously we haven't been posting. Very active, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna be doing also a lot of cleaning because we've been feeding, you know, just doing our daily chores, but we haven't been doing any like deep cleaning and organizing, so we're gonna do that. So here is the duck's kennel. Um, yeah, this water is only two days old and they really like to, you know, play in there. Here's just their waters that I need to change and this is where their food bowl is going to be at. But we're going to clean everything out and I just want to make it look more organized, I guess. And this little thing we have, we just use it out as a little storage thingy. I'm going to have to clean this out as well. We actually have a chicken in here. Where is she? There she is. She's trying to lay her egg and she decides to lay it in here out of all places even though her chicken coop is literally right there. And this is our cousin, Rosa. She's over right now, so she's gonna be helping us out, right, Rosa? Uh -huh. <laughs> What's the point of being here, then? Sauce mug. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wanna organize like their feed bin. We're just gonna do, you know, that spring cleaning stuff that we should have done in spring. But we have time now, so we wanna get it done today. This is the chickens area. It's not too bad, but since it hasn't been raining often, it's very dry and dusty, but I guess they like that. We're gonna work on this area. Some spiders gone into here, so there's some webs we're gonna take care of. We're gonna clean this area up as well. We need all of that, make that look all good. So we were just cleaning and look who decided to come up. You guys might be wondering why we only have two is yes because we got rid of the runner duck. The runner drake, he was very, how do I say it? He always stayed at the pond, he would never come back so it motivated them to never come back up here. But now ever since we got rid of him, They've just been a lot better. So this is Waddles right here. He's a big crested white drake. His name is Waddles. It's because every time he tries to run, he just doesn't. He just goes side to side. It's really cute. And of course, Darls. Getting there, it's starting to look a lot nicer. So we got some more rocks. We'll make this a little cuter because it's a little ratchet right now. But yeah, that's the update for now.
few moments later. So a little update. Girls are just dust bathing right next to the kennel door. Over here I organized it a little bit. So in here we keep their food and treats and all that. In this bin so it stays dry. Right here we have their mulch. This bucket and that shovel is just when we clean out their coop. And then right here is just, just extras I guess. Here are the ducks. We got them some veggies. They've been nibbling at them. Guys like your pool? Yeah? They're really good. Yeah. <laughs> As you guys can see, Waddles is huge compared to Darl. But we got them a new pool because their older one right here was completely falling apart. Had holes in it and everything. But we're probably going to just use this now if we get any more like ducklings or something in the future. We're going to use it as a brooder. Here's a little update over here. Coop is just cleaner. We washed down a little bit. And then here's just the pit area. Looks a lot bigger because now it's all clean. All right, so we are finally finished with the outside. So I came inside and I wanted to give you guys an update on Jeffa. So as you can tell, her tank is a lot different than from our last video, which was a simple setup. Well, I had a few problems with the decorations I got, so I just returned them. But as you see, I went all natural because like a month ago, something happened. I really am not sure what really went wrong, but Jeffa was literally acting like she was dying. So I went completely all natural, got her all these like life plants. I got some this driftwood as you can see. I mean, I really like the setup. It's cute. It's just really dirty right now because I've been doing water changes and all that, but I haven't been keeping up with deep cleaning. I'll show you here these pictures of what it looked like at first. The wood is a lot brighter red and everything, but it's still really pretty and natural. And Jeffa's doing a lot better. Like, she was really bad. Something was really wrong with Jeffa. I really don't know what it was. It might have been ammonia poisoning, but I really don't know what could have spiked that because I just don't know. I had nothing laying around, um, like, no uneaten food. I've always been cleaning it out. I really don't know. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but she kept going up for air. She was not moving at all. She just always was chilling on her, well not chilling, more like dying on her betel leaf. She did not want to go anywhere else. She stayed really close to the surface. She was gulping for air every like, not even kidding, like every two minutes she went up for a huge breath of air. I was um, texting this one betta fish lady on Instagram and I was just asking her what should I do because she obviously has so much more experience than me. She didn't know what exactly was going on either. I was giving her my test water results and everything. Um, she didn't really know but she gave me a lot of tips. She said to make sure you have live plants in there, make sure you're doing your water changes and also she recommended me to get almond leaves, the Indian almond leaves. So I went to my local pet store, bought those, and it really helped. I mean, that's obviously why the water's darker tinted. She also said to make sure I'm putting in aquarium salt. I didn't have it before. I don't know why I didn't have it before. I just didn't think I needed it, but this is really good for like internal parasites or something. It's just really good in general for your fish. So I do recommend getting this and the almond leaves for your betta fish. Yes, they do magic. So after that, after using the salt and the almond leaves, literally a week later, she was just back to normal. Like, not even kidding. She was eating again, because while she was sick, she did not want to eat at all. I literally thought she was going to die, and it was really sad, because this month, July, is actually her birthday, is when we got her. She's going to be, I think, three? I think this is going to be her third year since us having her as a baby. And also we got her a tank mate. So that's just um, um, an ivory mystery snail. It's been doing a really good job um, of eating algae and all that. And Jeff really likes it. Um, she's doing great. <sighs> really happy that she's doing a lot better than 
she was before. And what do you think, guys, I could add to her tank? Just, you know, to make it look cuter or something you really like to have in your tank if you have a betta fish. What can I put into Jeffa's? And I also actually start feeding her um, blood worms about once a week. So one day she'll just have those. Um, the frozen blood worms, I just thaw them in her water and then she loves jumping for them. Oh my golly. She absolutely loves them. I don't know why I didn't get them earlier. I mean, I did have the freeze-dried ones before, but she really likes the, the frozen ones. They're really good nutritious, but just make sure you don't make that their main diet. I feed her the Omega-1 Beta Buffet pellets. They're very good. They're very organic, natural, and she really likes them. 2,000 years later. that I have no shrimp in this tank that is because they actually all died so they didn't all just suddenly die everyone slowly one by one Jeffa did not really bother them at all to be honest they had so many hiding spots none of them looked sick but I think it is just to do with age um, whenever we were picking them out I picked out all the biggest ones and I didn't even think about that they might be really old and just die because their span of life is really only one year and that's not a lot, um, but I wanted to pick out the biggest ones so maybe Jeffa doesn't bother them that much. And I never even thought about the age. Some would slowly turn white, like, you know, they're totally fine, totally healthy, but then they just die the next day. And I searched it up. Some people believe it's just to do that they're getting old or it's just they don't even know because some people said that some babies have turned white before and they haven't died. I think all of them were just old and that's why they died. But yeah, it's all right. I don't have all the adult shrimp, but believe it or not, I still have the baby shrimp that are growing out in that small bowl tank. Mm -hmm. 